Welcome back, everybody. So, between episodes, as I was working on these catacombs, I realized they were much, much bigger than I originally had thought they were going to be. So, I've been working, adding in walls and stuff. So, we're going to hop into a time lapse so we can finish up all the walls and then add in all the crypts and take a quick tour of it. And then we'll move on to uh, the rest of the underground. Okay, so that should get you caught up with where we are at and down here. I did, uh, as you saw, have to go back and gather a bunch of cobwebs, which are a little dangerous. And then I need to get some more of the honeycomb so I could make my candles. But I do have this uh, whole this corridor down here. So where we left off in the last episode, I would added in these little religious icon thingamajiggers here. So I sort of pushed this hallway here, made it really big and wide, but with these big columns here, give it a little bit of weight. I tried to hide the light as best I could. I had a comment on uh, one of my videos saying I could block some of the light I was having trouble with, like at the end of the corridor, now if I put a solid block behind it, because that was, I was having trouble down there. See how light this is? I haven't done that yet, but the suggestion was if I go back here and instead of putting in, so this is a wall here. So I put a solid block behind here. So what I need to do actually is take this wall and move it in one. So I think if I move this block, this wall in one and put a solid ball behind it, that should fix my lighting issue because you can see this is really too light here. So I need to darken this up a bit. So that is one thing I have not done. But I think I've got all the other light, but just looking down there, that is, that's way too bright. So if we just head down this new section. So we made one corridor down here. 
and then I've got branches going off either side. Got it, plenty of cobwebs, plenty of candles. I did put in all the names of the rulers who are buried here. There's quite a bit of light in some of these, but it's because I've got so many, I got like three candles gives you like a whole torch's worth of light. So that's where the lot of light is coming from. But even with that, it's still kind of creepy. So I got this whole place nice and creeped out. I think it, uh, I think it came out pretty good actually. And we have this corridor here, and then I've got a couple more down here. So I've got this, these corridors going down either way here. These are identical to the other ones. I just haven't, uh, haven't got the anybody occupying the crypts. So I guess technically I should probably leave uh, that box out of there, but I think it gives it a good atmosphere. I just want to give you a look at everything. I know you saw the time lapse, but sometimes seeing it from this angle gives you a better idea of it. And this is just the final one. The wall is on the other side. And like I mentioned, I put a solid wall behind this one. I just forgot to do the one the very first. The one I was complaining about back there, that's the one I should have done it on, and I actually did it on this one. But it really darkens it up, so I like that. Kind of gives it that creepy vibe. I did throw a lot of these uh, glow lichen on the floor, which actually give out quite a bit of light. But you can see it's just got enough shadows here and there. I did run into creepers and other mobs while I was doing this. Because it didn't take long for them to spawn. But I am very happy with the way this came out. You know, it's got just the right amount of darkness and light and creepiness and everything. So, and I didn't actually expect it to be this extensive when I started it. I just kind of got carried away. But sometimes it's fun to just put these things together like this. And then we get over here. So this is the other end of the crypt. So if you remember, this stairs goes all the way up into here. Because this is the other end of the zombie uh, temple. And this is the other entrance into the mausoleum. So what I need to do is kind of fill in this area here. So I think the first thing to do would be maybe just put in, you know, like the flooring. So I don't need any stone there. I just need like there. So I can get rid of this. Let's put that there. Let's get rid of this one here. I've got some here, so like this is all going to be blocked off. And I guess the wall will just continue out this way. I haven't figured out specifically what to put in here. Shovel, do I? Oh, I was going to figure out the stairs here because I don't know if I like them just coming down here I was wondering if I can put like a platform up at this end so let's see if I put a platform like that yeah I was hoping to do like this but this is like way too tight way way too tight so what I'm going to have to do is just leave the stairs come down here. Yeah, so we'll just feed the stairs in like so. Maybe do this. Um, I think the wall should go here. Which does mean I probably 
Oh, do I want to put a light in there? So that's going to light too much of it over there. So I think I'm going to have to fill in. Just fill in all this with dirt. Yeah. What I'm trying to do is create a non spawnable space back here. And still uh, not put a lot of light in the wall. I mean, through the walls into the crypt back there. So I'll just get a bunch of dirt, I think, and fill this in. So the wall will be there, and the floor is going to have to go through here. So I'm just going to put a mix of all these blocks going through here. And then start working on the walls and stuff. So I went ahead and finished out the floor and stuff in here. So this is the general layout. I got this uh, just sort of a big area here. There's not going to be any crypts or anything in here, but it will lead you around so you can go down and go down there to look at the crypts. So we're just going to do the normal, uh, just some normal walls through here. Is that in the middle? I don't know if that's in the middle. It's like a one, two, three, one, one, two, three. So that would be the middle. I'm just trying to gauge a design out here. What if I do like that? Yeah, maybe there and there. Something like that. And I'm trying to keep the uh, the lighting really low in here. Yeah, it kind of matches with those. So we're just going to go with the some just a normal wall here. I will go through and put in. I guess it'd be right here a second wall through here. So I need to fill in this hole, like over there where all those carved bricks are that's all going to be filled in with wall anyhow so it's not so important that it, i mean this is all the design in here is what's going to be important so this will be the main thing i'm doing a double wall just so i can get a different design on the inside than i do on the outside so i think that'll be nice do that there yeah, like that. So put another one there. And I don't think I'm going to go much longer in this video because my throat is starting to feel sore. So I think I'm coming down with a, not a cold that doesn't feel. I think it's just sinuses. There's bad allergies, bad allergies, bad, bad allergies. So it's allergy season. The beginning of summer, all this uh, new allergies kicking up, so... I think I'm starting to feel feel the burn from the allergy. Oh, dang it. I uh, feel the burn from the allergies here. Let's see. So let's see. This corner here, I can do the same like that. Maybe here. Let's see if I... There and here. I probably could have got some andesite and used that for walls too. But let's see, I've got some candles. I don't know if this is going to light things up enough, though. Nope, <laughs> those candles don't do nothing. Holy cow. So 
So I think I'm going to have to do some glow lichen. Maybe a piece of glow lichen here. And there. Now that seems lighted up. And then back here, maybe some like here and there. Yeah, that's, that looks like it's working. Oops, that's wrong. So just a very, very simple design on the walls, just uh, that. It's mainly the lighting I'm trying to get through here just to make it look dark and creepy. I mean, I can even stick like another red candle here. Maybe I need to put in, well, let's finish this first though. Let's do this. Oh, I got one hole in the roof there. Uh, oops, is that right? Du, du, du. I need to do... I got those two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's weird. Yeah, I think that's right. Oh, and then I need to get the hole. There we go. So that should finish this up. The lighting may change over on this side because I've got torches on the other side of that wall. So I think I'm going to go get rid of those. I just want to put a couple here. Like that. We do this and just stick like a candle here and there. Like that. I probably need to come in and get some more. Put a little more, th you know, just stuff in here. Just in around the corners, just to keep it, give it a little, a little more creepier vibe, like there. A couple candles here, a couple candles there, a couple here, like that. Like I said, I have a, my sinuses are starting to act up, so I think I'm going to call it a day. Uh, hopefully you uh, enjoyed this video. Come back and catch the next one. Hopefully I'll be feeling better so I won't sound as nasally as I do right now. So until next time, have a great day. Bye-bye.